Well, good morning, everybody. I just had something funky happen on my camera. I said that the memory was full. It's like, well, I am kind of full. I need to erase a bunch of stuff. But what I tried to do is I took the, the SD card out, and then I put it back in, and now it says it's fine. So, we'll see. Anyways, just got here this morning. It's the day after Christmas. Happy Boxing Day to people up in Canada. Uh... I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Um, chickens are, are happy. Yes, I know. Peaches can't decide if she wants to be in the hen house or not. She's been going in and out. She was chasing one of the other... She was chasing one of the Buff Orbingtons out of the hen house. Every time the, the Buff tried to go in. She would chase it out. So I don't know what she's doing. She's a weird hen. I did throw some scratch grain in there. Not a lot. But she was she was checking out the uh, the nesting boxes when I peeked in there before. So you know, she's she's one weird bird she is. I don't know, I, sometimes I think she doesn't really care much for the buffs, but, yes, good morning, girl, oh, here we go, come on, see if Peaches lets her stay in there, oh yeah, she's going to make a liar out of me now, good morning, Molly, it figures, Yep, she's making a liar out of me. Oh, we got... Good morning, girls. <laughs> she was not too happy. <laughs> Molly, that's not there for you to scratch on. Silly horse. Well, <sighs> Molly's got a jingle bell on because uh, one of her herd mates is blind. Well, Santa Claus did get me a new drill set. So hopefully it has what I need. Let me see here. See if I can open this with one hand. Don't know if I can. Here we go. It's got the uh, up to one quarter inch bit and then a bunch of um, screw bits, which yeah, I needed these. I really did need these. So I need some of the larger size bits, but this is a start. I can't complain. You know, he, he, he got the bits for me. So, so we're good to go. Better than what I had before. So. Now I gotta see if I did leave the battery here so I can finish working on the tack room. So back at ya. Man, I don't know what they're all worked up about something. One of the girls is getting chased off. They got all worked up about something. I just dumped some corn out here for them. Oh, come on my dear, try again. There you go. There you go. We're swimming in the pool. I yeah, just dumped some corn. And I don't know if, I guess they like the black old sunflower seeds. I, Because I had some mixed in, mixed in with the corn, so they ate them. So hopefully they'll do all right. Yeah, they're all excited about something. Probably enjoying the warmer weather, that's for sure. Yeah, I think they were hungry. I think the owner feeds them later in the day. Well, all right, going to move on over. Well, people, guess what? I was so focused on getting out early and getting to the to the gym this morning. 
guess where my battery is? It's not here. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did that. Well, yeah, actually, actually, yes, I can. I, I get, I get so many irons in the fire, and I'm bound. I'm going to forget something. Of course, forgetting the battery is pretty important. So, need to say, I can't cut. I can't drill. So, that means I'm not getting a whole lot done over here today. Uh, as to shoveling, try and redirect this mud. Well, because of all the rain we had Christmas Eve, it's all, it's almost too soft. I can't, there's only so much you can do, you know? So there's not a whole lot I can do here. Might be able to do a little bit. Oh, there's some wood over in the parking area that I might be able to, I guess I can move that over here and get that set up so it can dry out for tomorrow. And I'll just have to come here early tomorrow and and get something done. Can't believe I did that. I can't I can't do anything without the without, without the battery. Oh stink. Well if this is the shelf I I did, give you a top view of it. So that's that's capped off. So nothing can fall down in there now. Hopefully there wasn't anything down inside to begin with. So and I was gonna do this one next. Yeah, you see it's just a big dark hole. So I'd get that one done. And then I work on that one back there. And then work on some saddle racks. Which I think I'm going to put some two by fours on on the wall, screw some two by fours on the walls, just to give there a little bit more stability. I mean, it's going to have to be on the outside of the wall, obviously, because there ain't no getting into it. So, not with this high wall here. As to capping the top wall off, I, I don't know, because there is electric going down here and going down to there. Now, I don't know, it, underneath the floor there's electric wire. I don't know for sure where it, at, where it goes from here. Um, it might go over to the automatic water over there. Because it seems to me it's got electric for it, for keeping things thawed out. But I'm not, I can't swear to it. Um, so I, I just, I just don't know where that electric goes. So I can't, I don't know what I'm going to do about up there. <sighs> and I don't know yet what's happening with the roof. Since this roof faces the road, I don't know if she just wants to do something just over this one or she'd have to do the whole roof. And I, I just don't know. I mean, that's pretty long and it's it's money and I don't know if she has the money to put on the new roof. I know I don't. So. Hmm. And we had so much rain. I, I should at least try and put some plastic up there and I haven't, I can direct it so that it falls into the, the stall behind here which is a dirt floor so it won't do any harm back there but that's definitely gonna have to be dealt with yeah for sure uh, still can't believe I don't have the battery well people I'll see how far I can get and what I can get done so uh, back at you later. This is what you call a bunch of happy chickens. Moderately dry dirt. Well, it's not mud anyway. In the sun. And they are just scratching it up and having a dust bath. Well, not, it's not too dusty, but they are really... 
They're not all there, but most of them are there. Yeah, there's one leghorn back there. She's scratching her own pile. I think that's the one that likes to be kind of like all by herself. She's got independently minded. Yeah, one, two, three, four, six. Five buffs, kettle, two red hens, silver, blossom, blossoms having a nice roll. The two roosters. One leghorn. Yep, Jenny was not in this group as that one leghorn off by herself. And they are all having a fun time. Oh, and Peaches. Ah, I wonder what Peaches was doing in the old hen house. Now, well, alright. I want to show you something. Okay, I'm over here by the new hen house. And I got the door open. And I got screen door here. Now, I was trying to do the deep litter method, okay? Which supposedly you're not going to have to, you shouldn't have to clean it as often. Um, you just keep adding litter and adding litter. Um, I have it pretty thick in here. But when I came in here just to, you know, kind of check on things, I know it's pretty strong ammonia smell. Okay, that's not good. That is not good at all. Now, part of the problem is, could be rather, it could be that we have had so much rain. Okay, we've had a lot of rain. So if it's wet, it's going to smell more. And I was noticing that the nesting boxes when I was getting the eggs, it seemed like it was wetter kind of seem moist so I've got some paper shredded paper I'm going to put in there I'll put, try putting some line I, I put in some line okay to try and help dry things out a little bit and I've got I open the window here and I'm going to leave the door open try and air this place out get rid of the ammonia smell um, hopefully it'd be nice if we had a breeze come through here today but so this is not good for the chickens to have this heavy ammonia smell. This is not good at all. So I can I can still smell it. So I'm going to try putting the shredded paper down because that's what I have here at the moment. Um, I tried using the shovel, the little shovel I have, and I just I can't get in here. So what I need is some kind of a pitchfork, which I don't have one here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do with that. Um, I'm hoping if I throw the, the shredded paper down that that's going to help. I'm hoping the lime helps. <sighs> yeah. And uh, I'll check it tomorrow, see if there's any improvement. So, but I'll, I'll keep this, the, the door open. I'll just keep the screen door latched. And I've got them running loose anyway, so. If they end up in the old hen house tonight, uh, it's supposed to be pretty mild. I'm not going to fret about it. But I'll just leave them running around today. So, because I, I don't like that. This, this should not be this big ammonia smell, should not be in here. This is not good. So, if, uh, if throwing the, the lime and the, um, and the paper on top does not help, um, I'm probably going to have to clean this out. So, we'll see if that helps. All right. All right. Well, at least it's good. I guess that's a good thing. What for not having my battery? Because since I didn't have my battery, I couldn't work on that project, so I had to concentrate on the chickens. So that's good. This is a good thing. So my poor birds. Okay. So I added some more shredded paper in the nesting boxes. Okay. They don't really use one, this one too much, so I didn't put as much in there. So this one seems to be the favorite. What I'm going to do? I'm going to leave this block here. Just so there's some ventilation. Okay. So there's a gap. So. And. I threw the paper down on top of the. Top of the roost. And. Uh, smell seems to be a little bit better. But I'll just leave this place opened up. Um, 
you know, even ventilation, I, I'm hoping that, you know, everything rises up and, and heads out the top there. That's why that's not blocked off. Um, they always say ventilation is important. So, now we'll see if this helps. Put the paper down on top of there. and uh, need to get a pitchfork and see if I can't turn that. Uh, I think it has not helped that it has been so wet for us. And uh, it's not freezing temperatures, it's wet. So they're coming in with muddy feet, wet feet, and it's just, it's just not having a chance to dry out. So we'll see how this works.